Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash today I fucked up. But first let's play r slash drunk or a kid where I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by Jen JMLC. Climbed on a traffic light to seem cool in front of my friends and was then caught by my mom doing it and was so shocked by her being there that I fell down. Well, what do we think? Is this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash today I fucked up, where throwaway goose 90 posted this. Today I fucked up by allowing my friends to frame a picture of my penis. This happened two weeks ago, but I found out today. Throwaway as they use Reddit. My best friend is married to a photographer. She's actually quite well respected locally and has had exhibitions, just not quite like this. They have a young son who I went round to babysit for while they had a well-earned break. My best friend, being the loving but incompetent idiot that he is, bought her an expensive Polaroid camera which is markedly worse than anything his wife owns. They've given it to their son who has shown no interest whatsoever. So I'm pissing around with him, watching cartoons and spot the camera among his things. My friend and I have a childish sense of humour, so I take the camera and take a Polaroid of my junk. It turns out horribly blurry, dark, and you can't work out what it is. I leave it on my mate's desk on his keyboard and forget about it, hoping when he sees it he will get a laugh when he works out what it is. Babysitting goes fine. I leave. I went round to visit today and immediately saw the Polaroid framed on their kitchen wall. I absolutely crack up and ask them why it's there. His wife replies that it's child's first photo. He took it and left it on daddy's desk for him. She was so proud that her son had used the camera, taken a photo and gave it to his dad that she framed and hung it. I haven't got the courage to break it to them that it's not their child's first photo taken. It's my dick. And they framed it. Too long, didn't read. Took a photo of my junk on a child's Polaroid camera and left it around as a joke for my best friend. They mistakenly believe their child likes photography and frames my dick. <laughs> Too shitty for you down in the comments. It's now if anyone asks about your dick, you can honestly answer. It's pretty well hung. I don't know if I would tell them that it was my dick. I think I would maybe just let them keep it there. What do you think? Would you own up? This next one was posted by Captain Jaws. Today I fucked up by watching my neighbours fight while I was eating popcorn. So I'm a bit of a soccer fan and today two big local teams had a game. So naturally I was watching the match in my living room. Little did I know there was another match going on in my neighbour's house. About 10 minutes into my game, I started hearing screams coming from the house across the street. Between the game and the distance between us, I really couldn't distinguish any words, so I just raised the volume of my TV and kept watching. During half time, I got a bit hungry and decided to make myself some popcorn. For those of you who don't watch sports, half time tends to be a bit long and there's just a bunch of commercials, so I lower the volume of the TV as I microwave some popcorn. By this point, my neighbours have been fighting for about 30 minutes and just as I take the popcorn out of the microwave, I hear some doors slamming. Curiosity had got the better of me. So I went to my balcony to see what the scope of the fight was in case I had to call the cops or something. Now, I have two dogs so I didn't want to leave my popcorn back unattended <laughs> on the couch, so I brought it with me. So here I am, staring from my balcony at the 40-year-old married couple who took the fight outside. From the looks of it, the wife has kicked the husband out of the house. By now, I could tell what the fight was about. Nothing too dramatic as to add spice to the story, or so I thought. Suddenly, she slapped him hard on the face, which made him turn, and I gasped dramatically, which made them both look up into my balcony. Now, trying to see this from their perspective, they've been fighting for over 30 minutes, yelling and slamming. 
yelling and slamming doors, and just as they took their fight outside, they see their gay gossip-loving neighbour with a big bag of popcorn licking from their balcony. This got them furious, as if defying the laws of physics, their faces turned redder than they already were, and they both took their frustration at me, yelling at me all sorts of things. Enjoying the show, you I honestly decided to take one for the team <laughs> and kept putting popcorn into my mouth as they were yelling at me because it seemed to stop their fight and join them as a twisted dysfunctional couple once again. They both flip the finger at me and walk inside. Can you believe this fucking guy? The wife screamed at her husband as he patted her back and closed the door. When I got inside, I was too busy laughing to enjoy the rest of the game. But luckily, my team won 5-2, so all is good in the world. This next one is from Mad Moran 1029 Today I fucked up by giving my 17-year-old nephew advice on how to meet women. A few weeks ago, I flew out to Fresno to visit my younger sister and her family since I haven't seen them in four years. The first night in town was wonderful and wholesome. They gave me a quick tour of the local sites and we ended up at a local restaurant for a family dinner. The conversation was mostly about family stuff and how the boys were doing in school. The older son, Alec, was enjoying thus far his senior year at high school and enjoyed a healthy social life, dating often. On the other hand is my nephew, Dan, who does very well academically but has zero game with the ladies. When I pressed him as to why, he admitted he had a hard time approaching them and mostly stuttered and blushed. Alec chimed in with the fact his brother seemed to fancy more robust girls, which sent the table laughing with the exception of my sister and Dan. Being the cool uncle, I let the matter drop until my sister excused herself to use the ladies' room. As she walked away, I leaned over and offered a bit of advice for my Marine Corps days. If he liked big, then he needed to go to a place where big is not judged. But don't go empty-handed. I suggest finding a clothing store that accommodates plus size and bring along some snacks as an icebreaker. Now that I think of it, I was about four cocktails into the evening and the snickering coming from my brother-in-law and nephew should have been an omen of sorts. So the topic dropped after Sis returned and that was pretty much my first evening. A few days later, it occurred to all of us, Dan was leaving the house early in the day and was returning much later at night in uncommonly good moods. When his mother inquired, he explained about gaming with friends and so on. I, however, was not buying it. I pulled him aside and got the truth. The boy explained after some trial and error, there was a strip mall in town that had both a chicken shack as well as a reputable plus size women's clothing store. <sighs> oh, no. He would buy a bucket of chicken tenders and eat on the hood of his car, chatting up women as they walked by. He met a girl and they'd been seeing each other. I was happy I could help and could not believe it actually worked. However, things went south. A few days after my return to the East Coast, I received a very emotional call from my sister. She explained between curses lobbed at me. She had went clothing shopping one day and when she went to enter the store, there was a have you seen this man flyer on the door. It was a grainy surveillance photo of Dan sitting on the hood of his car with a bucket of chicken and a two litre of soda. The flyer warned of a man slash youth approaching women as they tried to shop and though he had been warned off, he still may be a threat. When she confronted the boy, he rolled on me and his father played ignorant. Now Dan is grounded until the threat of restraining orders die down and I'm told I'm not invited for Christmas. Poor Dan can't go out to see his new girlfriend and blames me for that as well. <laughs> In the comments, Tingle Ep says, I leaned over and offered a bit of advice from my Marine Corps days. Said everyone who has ever told a story that has ended bad. <laughs> this last one was posted by Sooty Feral Child. Today I fucked up by being COVID skinny. This one literally just happened a couple of hours ago. I'm getting over COVID and have lost a ton of weight, like a shocking amount. I still have no sense of taste and what I can only describe as a strong aversion to food. 
My quarantine officially ended yesterday and I'm allowed to go out again, so I decided to walk to the gas station near my apartment and see if some Doritos and a real Coke would excite me. Strolling along, feeling pretty great about being alive and having energy again. I was quite sick, but now I'm just bored and energetic. Let's take a walk, right? Relevant to note here that I was a healthy weight before, but it was a curvy lady healthy weight. Now I just look like a titless assless twig. I'm wearing a casual dress because it's formless and so it still fits. I was feeling pretty great and kind of skip hopped up over the curb and my underwear fell down around my ankles. They fell off my ass because my ass is gone. A car was driving by and definitely saw. What do you even do in this situation? Kick them off and flee? Pull them up? I opted for the latter. Too long, it didn't read. I got COVID and didn't die. And then my underwear fell down in public. Citroen South down in the comments says, lol, oh no. And pulling them right back up is a boss move. And you get to keep your undies. I don't know. I think I might have just kicked them off and kind of ran away. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who fell from a traffic light? It was... A drunk. I was completely wasted and got in trouble with my mom, although I was 22. Did you guess right? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.